Did you see the video of an inmate named Jarrett Hobbs in jail? And then he gets mobbed on by about five police officers and they are beating his ass yeah, in the that. cell. Yeah. Then they drag him out of the cell into the hallway, continue to beat his ass. Man, did you tap in with that video? Oh, no doubt, man. I watched <laughs> it three or four times because I was trying to, I just was trying to see um, if he, it, you know, I'm looking to see what pissed him off that bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just to be honest, I'm like, damn, what'd he do? And uh, he pissed him off or he shared something, but that still didn't warrant that kind of ass whooping, though. Yeah, when I first saw that video, I must say three, four or five days ago, I don't remember what day that was. I was like, these officers are going to get charged. There's no way that this just gets swept under the rug. But I wasn't expecting all the officers to get charged because they just charged them this week. Yeah, no doubt. But, you know, like you say, I wasn't expecting them either, you know, and... um. Because I wanted to see what kind of, what was their excuse? Like, what can you possibly say, you know, to get out of this one? And apparently it wasn't enough. No, there's nothing you can say, even if he was an asshole. No, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> there, there's absolutely nothing you can say because it just it just looked completely unprovoked what this guy was, um, what this guy did. It's just, um, uh, this is a, a case out of Camden, Camden, Georgia, for those who are unaware, I am going to put a, a link to this video either in the show notes or on our Instagram page at streets.and.scholars. You have to watch this video because it is atrocious that, uh, and I wanted to ask you this question, it's atrocious that COs or deputies that work in custody be whipping the people's ass like this. But being a guy that's been behind the walls for several years, this is this has happened probably time immemorial where nobody ever finds out about that. No, no doubt about it. First thing I said, first thing I said when I saw it, I wasn't even I wasn't focused on the ass whooping. I wasn't focused on the um, <clears throat> the cops. I was really focused on damn. They got cameras and cells. Now. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing I said was why did where did this footage come from? You know how many asses them been beat without the footage, without the cameras, and by them cameras being in cells now, the cameras being in the the. the Newer prisons that they making cameras are everywhere. That lets them know that they know it's some it's some wrong shit going on, you know. And 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 officers are doing you know things of uh, this kind of nature, you know, all the time. So it's on camera now. So they got to do something. But this been going on, man. But what, this was a jail facility, not a prison facility. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, the older jail facilities didn't have this kind of uh, technology. So you were just in there getting your ass whooped, and then you know, swept up under the rug, wasn't nothing you can do. But do, but my question is, I just was thinking about mm -hmm. this. Do, would inmates in a prison environment who were doing three, four, five, 10, 15 years in prison would even want a camera in their cell? Because to a certain degree, a prisoner wants his privacy. No, no doubt. And I think that's illegal to actually have one in a prisoner cell. Like you say, this is a, a, a county jail facility. So they do probably because this is only a processing tank. This is not a cell where somebody's actually living, you know. Um, so technically in prison, you could still go up in there and get your ass whooped. And they don't know what happened actually in that cell. All they know is can count who went in and who came out. You get what I'm saying? But in this situation right here, man, even in L.A. County, they don't have that kind of technology. You know what I mean? You just in rooms getting beat down. You know, and, and, and nobody took even complain it to. And even if, say, uh, the superiors as for sergeants and lieutenants would do something about it, it's your word against the officers. So they're definitely going to believe the officers. So um, this was a situation, man, where they got caught. Basically, they got caught, but they whooped his ass, man. Yeah, I think that um, without this camera footage, of course, we wouldn't even know about this. Exactly. Plus, you know, this is their footage. I heard it had to get subpoenaed. And here's another thing. Even though the footage does exist, they own and control it. <laughs> and I was wondering how it even got out. See, that's what I was wondering. How did so somebody subpoenaed the info? Uh, a judge signed off on it has to be released to the public because there's been a special request made, something okay. along, along those lines. Yeah, yeah. If that wasn't if that request was never made, we wouldn't even know about the footage. Or if the judge decided, oh, I'm not going to let this footage out, we would never know. So that's another hurdle, too. Just because they got cameras there don't mean we're ever going to see that footage. No doubt. So that's just another thing. But I was just thinking, like, without without cameras in most prison cells, this what we saw happen to. Jared Hobbs probably happens 
every day in America. Every day in America. Would, that, would I be exaggerating that there's a there's an inmate in a penitentiary in America getting his ass whooped just like Jared Hobbs is getting got on that, this video as we speak. As we speak. As we speak. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So that means there are so many deputies, CEOs, uh, jail guards that are doing illegal activity. And we never find out about it. Oh, no doubt all day long. You know, and then, like I say, you know, when people get to, you know, they so quick to talk about gangs in the streets. They so quick to talk about gangs here, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's just so many uh, facilities and prisons, so many uh, police districts and police departments that, you know, they put this kind of shit down all the time and they've been getting away with it so long unless they comfortable with it. You know, these officers were fairly new. Uh, one of them was only on the job 18 months. One was on the job six months. And I think the other one was three years. That's not a very long time. But at the same time, if the guys that was on the job 18 months and six months watching the guy three years that's on the job three years do this, they say, OK, this protocol. So this is what we do. We can get away with this, no problem. And now you find yourself, you know what I mean, arrested, booked into the same county jail that you once worked in. Now, I noticed that there were five, if you counted, there was five different cops there, but they only charged three. And I noticed there was a brother there too in the back. Right, right, right. My question was, was that brother trying to get through to get some licks in? Or was he trying to say, hey, 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 let, back up because it never got to that point. You know, he <laughs> could have been doing a 42 fake, you know, acting like he ain't on it, but he ain't finna hit one. He, you know, then I seen a couple officers hit another one in the back, you know, they hitting each other. They trying to get to this dude so cold, you know what I mean? But I think the brother was man, just more or less like back there faking, like y'all gonna do that, but I'm act like I'm with y'all, but you know, well, he didn't he didn't get charged. So, um, yeah, I, I had to watch that a few times because I was really focusing on this brother. Uh, Thanks for checking out this short clip of the Streets and Scholars podcast with Alex Alonso and FG. If you want to check out the entire episode, visit your favorite podcast platform. We can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, and iHeart. Just tap in on your cell phone, tablet, computer, or your favorite device and guaranteed to get at least an hour of this fire content. And thanks for checking out another episode of Streets and Scholars.